Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the January 2017 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get started. Here's problem 37, and, and we're, we'll be doing this problem in parts since it's a little bit longer to read and keep everything in mind. So if you want to work in, on each part on your own, definitely pause the video and do that. Uh, so here's the original information. Ian is borrowing $1,000 from his parents to buy a notebook computer. He plans to pay them back at a rate of $60 per month. Ken is borrowing $600 from his parents to purchase a snowboard. He plans to pay his parents back at the rate of $20 per month. Write an equation that can be used to determine after how many months the boys will owe the same amount of money. Uh, well, uh, how much does Ian owe? Ian owes, uh, let's see, he owes the original $1,000. Minus, and again, this if he's paying back 60 per month, and you, if, and he's paying it for m months, uh, well, we need to, well, let's define a variable in this case. Uh, let m let uh, m equal the number of months. So if he's bar if he's paying back 60 dollars per month, and he's doing it for m months, then he pays back 60 times m. So 1,000 minus 60. M. And then uh, Ken owes, well, he owes the original 600 minus what he's paid back. He's paying back 20 each month uh, for M months, so he owes 20M. Okay, so they owe the same amount when... Uh, the well, literally, when the the amount that they owe is the same, so a thousand minus sixty m is equal to uh, six hundred minus twenty m. Done. Okay, so now the next part: uh, determine algebraically and state how many in how many months the two boys will owe the same amount, and then state the amount that they will owe at this time. So let's solve this equation algebraically: one thousand minus oops, twenty zeros. Minus 60m equals 600 minus 2m, 20m. So let's see, plus 60m, plus 60m. And I, I know I can subtract 600 from both sides, by the way, but I actually generally recommend doing one thing at a time. 1,000 equals 600 plus 4m. Subtract 600. Subtract 600. And... Uh, let's see, four, that's 400, sorry, 40 M, uh, six, uh, 400 equals 40 M divide by 40, divide by 40. And you get, uh, 10 equals M. Okay. So and determine and state. So let's state the, uh, they will owe that they will owe the same amount of money in 10 months. So they will owe the same amount of money in 10 months. Okay. And then state how much they will owe. They will owe. Well, let's, if they, it's the same, let's use uh, just Ian's money. 1,000. Minus 60 times 10, which is equal to 1,000 minus 60 times 10, 600 equals 400. Okay, and just as a check, uh, 600 minus 20m is 600 minus 400. Uh, Sorry, what did I just say? Is 600, oops. Ugh. Edit, fidgeting. equals 600 minus 200 equals 400.
That's a check. Okay. So now the next part, Ian claims that he will have his loan paid six months after he and Ken owe the same amount. And determine and state if Ian is correct and explain your reasoning. So Ian, Ian will owe. So there's a couple of ways that you could do this part. For example, after the, after the, uh, 10 months, Ian will owe 400. Then you calculate how long it'll take, uh, Ian to pay the rest of the money. Um, for starting from this, uh, and another way you could do it is calculate the amount, uh, the amount of time that it takes to him for him to pay back completely and then subtract 10 from that. So Ian will owe zero when 1000 minus 60 M equals zero. So add 60 M plus 60 M and then, uh, 60 M equals 1000. And then divide by 60, divide by 60, and you get um, m equals, let's do 1,000 divided by 60 because it's a it's an decimal. 1,000 divided by 60, and it's 16.6 repeating months. Okay? So now this is a very valid question. Is it going to take him four months to pay, uh, six more months to pay back? The truth is that after 16 months in this model, he will still owe money as evidenced by the fact that M has to be greater than 16. So Ian will actually take a total of 17 months to pay back the loan. The loan, which is uh, seven more months up after the 10, the 10, not six. Okay, not six. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're watching for one hour play this, hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now. If not, go to youtube.com, search for JuanTutors.com, click on the name and definitely hit the subscribe button and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos and scroll to the bottom. All of our playlists are going to be right at the bottom. Just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there. And if you feel like you need a little extra boost with tutoring, go to our website, check out our testimonials. And if you feel like we're right for you, you can click on the contact us link and contact us straight from the page. Thanks for watching.